Thank you for watching Rowan County Relics. As you can tell, we are at a very old place. 1790 is what the family believes that this uh, chimney was built. Uh, of course, you can tell that it was added on to a little later. Uh, they moved out of here about 1850, built a house across the creek. So we're, we have a chance to find some really good things today. I have a friend coming with me, uh, Chris Boardwine. Uh, you'll see him off and on during the County video. Diggers. You can check out his uh, YouTube channel. But uh, if you would, uh, like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Rowan County Relics. I think you're really going to like this video. I think there's great potential here for some old coins. Uh, we don't know. It's, it's, it's never been checked before. And in, we're in Central North Carolina, and there's not a very populated time frame from 1790. Uh, they didn't have a lot of neighbors. They didn't, this was a farm. So I don't expect to really find a lot of coins from the, set, the, you know, the early 1800s or 1700s because they didn't really have those things. They bartered and traded. But we'll see what's in the ground. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. We're going to have a good time. I got a very first decent seal in the morning. Been here about 10 minutes, 10 or 15 minutes of the glare here. And we're consistently getting a 60 to 83, somewhere around in there. And showing it pretty deep, though. So we're going to dig this thing and see what it is, all right? Hang on, I'll take you to the hole with me here in a minute. Uh, maybe a button there, hitting in the 70s, so... The perfect location to find an old button one at this old house here. There's the cows watching us this morning. But we're right off the, uh, I guess, the back side of the house, back corner. You can hear Chris over there mail detecting. It's too hot. If you wonder why you're hearing all of our mail detectors, well, we man, it's it. just too hot. Uh, it says it's out of the plug. I mean, out of the hole, so we're in the plug somewhere. We'll look for it together, okay? Oh, look at there. See that green? That's it. What is that? You see? I thought it was a blade of grass at first. That's a, either a wheat scent or a, it's a penny size. So I believe it's a wheat scent or an Indian scent. Indians really turn green like that. It's very common to see an Indian scent. And I love these things. Boy, it's kind of clean too. It is an Indian scent. We can make out the date a little bit on it. I think the date's going, I can see 17. I know the camera doesn't show it well. We'll clean it up and uh, we'll show it to you. But that is an Indian scent. And it's an old thin one too. Look how thin that thing is. I love these Indian scent. Uh, they're, they're green, they're pretty. This is actually pretty nice. Sometimes they're so corroded, I guess the copper in them or whatever. And this bull talent wet soil here we have here in North, Central North Carolina really messes them up. But this is the nicest one I have so far. 17, I mean it's 1800s, so we, uh, no, it's 18 something, so. Oh, yeah. Well, we had a signal here. Me and Chris were both working this thing. It was driving us crazy. His max really wasn't getting it, and my 300 wasn't getting it, and it wasn't very deep, so it's kind of a clue why we weren't ringing it. But it's a, a pretty nice button. It's got a big shank on it. I don't think it's extremely old, probably 1900s, but it says Southern on it. I'd be interested to look it up. There is some marks on the back. We'll clean it up and look at it a little bit later. But you can see where it was at. And you can see the indention right there in the side of the, the ground here. And it's not deep. But it was giving us a fit. We both were getting a signal, but we really couldn't figure out what it was. Now it's ringing up hot. But, oh well, I'll take a button any day. Any day. Well, guys, we're going to definitely dig this one. It's showing 84, solid, and not very deep, so stick around, we'll see what this is. I think it may be something good. Well, folks, I've dug it, and there it is. Anything, that the most despicable, the most horrid, uh, any bad word I can put on this and keep it G-rated, old mason jar lid. They ring up just like a silver half dollar. I mean, but hey, that's the price you pay when you're out here at these old places, so... Next hole. Get a little mixed tone here. You know, locating the hole here. Some type of. I thought it might have been a button, but I think it's just like too, maybe too big for that. Maybe still be. But look, it's a top to something. Maybe a top. We'll have to clean it up and see a little bit later. But uh, it's definitely old. Let's figure out what it is. If you know, definitely let us know.
We'll clean it up. We're here that again, later. right off the edge of the house, kind of been concentrating here. Signals have been few, but there's a good signal here. It was in the 80s, and uh, you can kind of see something there with a design on it. See that? Pull it out, see what it is. Some kind of tag or buckle looks like. Probably horse tack that would have been on a saddle or something. Still pretty cool. Got a design on it. All right, next hole. To the corner of the house. I, I didn't record the, the plug because you see all these holes. I've been digging 22 shells and, and they've been, I guess they're the old older ones because they're brass. Let me cut this off. And they were giving out high signals. And look right here. What that is right there. You see that? Can you see it? You see it? That's silver. That's a 50 cent piece at least. Oh, look at it. This is my first one. I wonder what it is. Oh, it's a mod. It's Frank Benjamin Franklin on there. It's a 1952. This is my very first half dollar. My very first. Gosh, man, this is awesome. I didn't film it. I've been digging these shell casings everywhere. That's awesome. Oh, I'm excited. I'll take that every day. That's my first and piece of silver here. Let's keep looking. Well, there's something else in the hole, and I'll let you find it with me. I ran the mail detector back over it. So there's another 84, 80, 86 signal here somewhere. Could there be two? Could it be a coin spill? Oh, I hear it. I hear it. Somewhere right there. Oh, another silver. Another silver. Look, look, look. It's big. Is it another 50 cent piece? No, it's a quarter. What kind of Washington quarter? Man, these are clean. 1939. That's amazing. They're not very deep either. Right here under the base of this tree. That is incredible. I wonder if there's anything else here. A 50 cent piece and a silver quarter in the same hole. That's a first. It's a first for me having two silver. I knew there was something else in there. Looky there. I knew it. That's a nickel. A buffalo. Hey, Chris. Yeah. I found a buffalo. I think it's a buffalo. Yeah, it is. Let's take a look. What you got, Trav? Two silver. <laughs> Can you believe that? I was digging a bunch of 22 shell casings. And I got a 52 half and a 39 quarter and a buffalo right here. All out of the same place. Nice. I also dug a weedy, but it's in my bag. That was the first thing I pulled out was a weedy, but that's crazy. I guess the squirrel hunter was digging shells out of his pocket, dropping silvers. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Because this, this is definitely, you know, our house is seven, it's 1790s, 1800s. So this is way ahead of the house. You know, there is another property across the creek that dates these, but I didn't expect to find these here. I expected to find the silver at the other place. So. Hey, nice Thanks. find. Yeah, man. Good thank deal. You. What you got there, Chris? And I got my first Indian. Got his first Indian. Now, there's a story behind this Indian. <laughs> I'm going to tell you what. That is beautiful. What, you got a date on it? 1904. 1904. First Indian. That's, I love digging those things. They're so green. They're beautiful. I'm, honestly, they're, I like digging silver, but those are cool. Those are really, yeah. really cool. I'd probably rather have that in a Mercury Dime or a Rose, definitely a, what, in a Roosevelt or something. Oh, oh man. That, I was here yesterday. We, I knew we were coming, so I was just cherry picking to see where we could start at. And I had dug this hole, and I couldn't. I got frustrated and couldn't find it. Chris says, uh, "Do you mind me redigging your hole over here? I got a signal." I said, "Man, I give up on that." And he pulls the Indian out of it. Ah, oh, that's how you do it. Don't give up on those signals.
<laughs> Good job, man. Thank you, bro. The Indians we've been digging have been real green. See that right there? Please be an Indian, not a wheat. It is a engine. Engine, engine number nine. I'm going to see if I can pull a date on it, and uh, we'll get back with you. This one's really slick, though, so I may have trouble with this one. Man, we have been, in the last 10 minutes, we've been rolling. I think we got four Indian pennies in about 15 minutes. I've dug a button, and I got another button right here. Shank's gone, it's a little flat button. Let me switch camera angles let you see it. See right here? I was thinking it might have been another Indian. About that size. But it's a flat button. Maybe some kind of design on it. I really can't tell. We'll clean it up, but you can see right there on the back where the shank would have been. Right there on that little, nice little flat button, 1800s. Um, I'm going to take a look at it and see what it is. We'll get back with you and see. But I do believe there's a design on there. See that? All right, guys. This is where this episode gets its name. Paw Paw Patch. Look at there. Those are what are called Paw Paws. You ever heard the old song, picking up Paw Paws, putting them in your pocket? Because the only time you eat Paw Paws is when you pick them up. There's one on the ground. It may be ready. But they're actually like a tropical fruit. Um... They taste like a banana, but with a little bitterness. Kind of remind me of a, um, what a, um, persimmon. You know, you can get a persimmon that's really sweet, then if it's not right, it's bitter. Same thing with a pawpaw. You find these around the old home sites, so they're very rare to find. So we're going to call it a, this is why we call this the pawpaw patch. Let's see if we can get on it. button dude that's a round button too what's on that thing let me go ahead and turn the video off we'll clean it up a little bit and i'll come back and show you this definitely has a military button of some type it's got the uh, eagle on it we're going to do some research on it oh, getting back Thank you. I don't know what that is since we've been talking about what green coins look like. Again, we're not far from where me and Chris have been finding a lot of stuff. The question is 1800s or 1900s? We'll pull it out and take a look. Well, guys, it's right, another shoot. Indian, and we are still in the 1800s. Check that out. 1888. That's five Indians from here. I've got three. Chris has got two. This ground is really keeping these Indians really nice. We'll clean it up later tonight and you can see it. But this is really good stuff. Digging Indians today. Indians in the Paw Paw Patch. Me and Chris are back at the uh, at the trucks and the barns of the house getting ready to leave. I just got, I'm going to show you a wrap up. We do find some good things. We found some great things today. But a lot of my friends, uh, I think they think it's just, you just roll these out of the ground. How many holes did we dig today? Probably a piece, a hundred at least a piece. And, and we have what I consider eight things that are pretty good. I got some relics here. Chris has got some really good stuff. Let me show you what we got here. Come back to the old barn here, my lay barn and show you. Look at all this. Look at all those shotgun shell caps. Can find a horse stirrup. Piece of an old clock tag of some type. I have no idea what that is, but that's old. Look at that. Mason jar lid. Look at all these nails. And just junk. Another shotgun shell. That over there with them. Look at that. I did find some pretty cool little pottery. We're digging some holes. Got some color to it. But here's the good stuff. I'm pretty happy with that. I think when you come out with six coins, I think you've done pretty good. And two buttons. That southern button, uh, made in Connecticut. Uh, this is a flat button. It's old. It's 1800s. This is probably around the turn of the century. It's probably 1900s. Uh, 1952 silver, 1939 silver quarter. I had an 1880, 1871, and 1888 Indian. All 1800s. Three coins in the 1800s. The buffalo, nickel. You can't see the date on it. So I'd highlight eight things that I'm taking today. 
but yet look at all that you have to dig and that's that's not counting the ones that we start and quit so it's tougher than you think all right here's chris's finds for the day he got two indians both 1900s uh, a modern penny a canadian penny how in the world that got here who knows good day <laughs> hey good day mate uh shop um pistol bullet looks like a little lead button fired bullet smashed this is really cool i don't know if you can see it but it's a locket it actually has like a pictograph inside of it of a guy. He found that right around where I found those uh, Indian paintings from 1800s. And this is probably the best find of the day. Right there. That is a Civil War button. 1950s era. Uh, general service button, we think. We're going to have to do some experiment on it. So when you veterans see this, don't, don't start laughing at us and calling us goofballs. We're going to research and figure out what it is. But I, I do think this is the find of the day, even over the silver coins. Um... So good job, Chris, and uh, thanks for watching uh, Rowan Relics. Thank you.